What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta talk about the rumors that have been circulating this past uh week that Triple H has full control once again over WWE's creative man. There's been a lot of rumors and a lot of speculation that that has happened. Uh, and that's and that's what we're you know we're, what we're gonna be dealing with going forward. And uh, I definitely wanted to check that out for you guys. And honestly, the rumors do sound uh, kind of plausible. This past Monday Night Raw definitely seemed like a Triple H produced show. Um, just with the 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 little stuff uh, that they were doing backstage like if someone's having an interview there's something happening behind the screen or seeing characters or, or wrestlers that were featured a little bit more prominently when triple h had full control at one point and then started to disappear you didn't start to see him as much like johnny gargano and tomaso champa now teaming up to form diy like the people that triple h had brought up initially to the main roster you started to see them more and there was a lot more of of uh just like action and like aggressiveness and and the storylines that are being built there was a lot of good stuff to this monday night raw for sure and it definitely felt like a triple h led show so we're gonna get right into that um this article is brought to us by ringside news um belief within wwe that triple h is a uh, creative vision uh has endeavors full backing over vince mcmahon this is very very interesting let's get right into this one wwe is on a roll right now and it appears that will not slow down anytime soon with big signings and ex exciting um angles all over the place viewership has been uh high and they keep breaking records triple h deserves a massive amount of the credit for that success and he may need even more than fans realize Vince McMahon didn't wait long to start putting in creative changes when he resumed power in WWE. He was able to alter things remotely. He didn't even have to show up and be in gorilla, uh, gorilla position beforehand. It appears that Triple H might be making a lot more of those decisions now, and it has uh, brought about increased morale in the process. Mike Johnson noted on his PW Insider Elite audio show that there is a belief in the company that Triple H was knighted by Endeavor. He is now making 99.9% .9 of the creative decisions on television and not Vince McMahon. Just seeing that, and I've been seeing reports of that all week, just seeing that, that is that's quite interesting it's very interesting very telling that you know vince mcmahon had to retire and triple h took over and and obviously the product and the morale and backstage and locker room was definitely up you can tell the difference uh in the week to week shows they weren't always perfect and he didn't always make the best booking decisions but you can tell there was a difference there was a difference in the air and when vince came back even though people didn't want to admit it or believe that he did or has been been back having some input, you can just tell by some of the reports that were being sent in and how the show was being booked. That Monday Night Raw after Mania was one of the worst Monday Night Raws ever, and you can tell that show was switched up and put together very last minute. It did not seem like they had some planned idea of what they were going to do, and the rumors that uh circulated like the reports circulated that vince mcmahon was changing up the script an hour before the show or even during the show so i mean this is very interesting to see that once again endeavor is kind of moving away from vince even though he sold it to him they're more focused on making sure the product can be the best it can possibly be since they you know pretty much invested a lot of money into wwe um there is a belief within the company that triple h has been basically knighted by the endeavor and he's uh the one drive who is driving the 99.9 percent .9 of the creative going forward not vince mcmahon i kind of feel like there will be a tug of war and sometimes vince will give his thoughts and they will go with that or uh, with what vince want but i'm told that week to week in the weeds 
They are going, they are going with what Triple H wants. Triple H was made, uh, has made a few allusion, allusions to uh, the idea of this new era of WWE. It seems that change go, uh, goes internally as well because Vince McMahon is no longer calling the shots. WWE has seen a boom in popularity and viewership trends in recent memory. It's hard to argue that Triple H isn't a good booker as he has provided uh, proof for years uh, in, an, in NXT. Now he has a much larger program to control. And it appears that Vince McMahon may not uh, be as much of a factor going forward. What's your takes on Triple H taking control over WWE creative direction? Let us know what you think. And yeah, man, for me, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I've I've been one of those individuals that has that has felt that obviously Triple H is still the position was him being head of creative, but we knew, and anyone with a brain cell knew that once Vince came back, he was definitely gonna have his input, and he has. And if you think it's all been Triple H, you're sadly mistaken. Now I know there's gonna be some people. There were some people last time. I'm going to bring up the counter argument. Also, oh, when it's a good show, it's only Triple H involved. No, I don't want to say that. Triple H has made some blunders, even when Vince was quote unquote retired or whatnot. But I will say this the shows seem more consistent, the shows seem more um, driven on what they were wanting, what, what. Triple H wanted to do and what he was trying to uh, convey to the audience. Like I said, I love those little teaser uh, segments where there's something happening in, in the foreground and then in the background, something else is happening that leads to something else later on in the show. I like those little tidbits. I like that. I like the backstage segments. I like the random brawls where people have beef with each other. I'm enjoying that. This past Monday Night Raw, was really really good it was very entertaining very entertaining that's my, one of the main reasons why we hadn't been watching raw as much because you know we just it, it's three hours of some of the same stuff now granted there was some of the same stuff here on this show too this week's uh monday night raw but guess what it was still it, it was it was still entertaining it still worked and there's stories that they're building and telling upon apparently uh they're gonna be bringing back war games for uh for survivor series the rumors were before vince um pretty much had to you know i wouldn't say he's stepping down i mean i guess he kind of is from creative if they're letting triple h kind of run the show for the most part but at one point i didn't think vince and i think the rumors were vince wasn't trying to bring back war games for survivor series don't know how true that is but I believe uh, that's something that they plan on doing, bringing back war games, you know? So, uh, and that's, obviously, that's the Triple H thing. He brought it back last year um, to the main roster, at least, and it was fantastic. So, I'm I'm really looking forward to them bringing it back this year. I, I just like the fact that when we are watching a Triple H-led show, it doesn't seem like a three-hour drag. Yes, it's still three hours, and that that always will be a hindrance, in my opinion, to Monday Night, Raw, Monday Night Raw. But it seems concise. It seems focus driven. There seems to be a reason and a point which you're watching, and I can appreciate that. So, if the rumors are true, and it does feel like that from this previous week, if the rumors are supposedly true, and Vince McMahon doesn't have that much control, which once again it, it is starting. This rumors are starting to feel that way because there have been reports before this report that Endeavor has been, you know, they're kind of like, yeah, we appreciate all you've done, but they're kind of like pushing him to the side because of his past situations and what he's dealing with. And they're kind of not wanting that uh, negative attention, attention brought on to them and their company. And uh, well, they don't want it brought on to Endeavor as a whole or whatnot. So this does sound plausible, but hey, I don't know. Time will tell. Um, once again, it hasn't been no official statement, but the reports are telling. And I kind of do believe that Triple H is, for the most part, as of right now, regain majority of the creative control. And I'm all for it. So comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys believe these reports? Do you guys feel like Triple H is back in control 
once again uh you know majority control obviously vince still may have a little bit of input here and there but for the most part endeavor is going with what triple h wants to do do you guys believe these reports and rumors or do you guys feel like vincent van is still running the show for the most part and if you do believe that triple h is running the show for the most part uh, did you guys enjoy this last uh, this past week's Monday Night Raw? Did, did you notice any type of difference, any type of uh, feel to the show, or does it has it does it feel like what all the past Monday Night Raws have felt like for you personally? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys just shown on the channel. Road to 150K, and I'm still here on the speed of YouTube, resident champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.